Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use your GPS. Briefly, how to make an ILS landing, how to enter a hold. As you can see, it's very foggy. We're going to need ILS today. Okay, so here we have the uh, cockpit. I'm going to click on GPS. Okay, we're at Birmingham in the UK. And we're going to make a Daventry departure. Just a standard uh, basic Daventry departure. So to select a, a waypoint or VOR or any particular place, airport, you click on D, waypoint. Okay, so we want to go to Daventry, which is a facility. So we've got this little push cursor here. <coughs> so you click the left button, bring up this uh, waypoint screen, and using your keyboard, just type in Daventry. Code for Daventry is D T Y. There you go, you got Daventry there. You press enter once, and you'll bring up this waypoint selector, or rather, um, duplicate waypoints. Press enter again, so you want to activate that. You press enter again. As you can see, Daventry is to the south, 28 miles. Okay. Okay, so we're all set up on our Daventry departure. I'm going to depart runway 33 now. Okay, Okay, so we've just departed Birmingham, runway 33. Run the runway heading and we're climbing to 6,000 feet. Okay, so we're on the Daventry departure. I'm going to show you how to set Daventry once again. Okay, so here's the GPS. You click on D waypoint. Click on the outer left arrow. Using your keyboard, type in Daventry D T Y. Press enter. Enter again. Activate yes. Enter again. Okay, 35 miles to the south. We're not going to go direct Daventry just yet. We're going to go to the right to heading 120. Okay, so we're about seven or eight miles from Daventry now, and I'm going to show you how to enter the hold at Daventry. First of all, I'm going to bring the speed back to 210 knots to give it a nice tight radius circle in the hold. We're going to enter the hold at flight level 80. I'm going to put a couple of flaps on as I'm quite heavy. Okay, we've got the GPS now. We're about five miles from Daventry. We're going to descend in the hold in Daventry and then we're going to leave for the hold and go for an ILS landing at Birmingham. Okay, so my speed's down to 210. My altitude's set for 8000. My GPS is set for Daventry. My nav and GPS button is switched to, down to GPS and I've got the VOR lock on. Some aircraft it made say nav, which is exactly the same. Okay, we're one mile from entering the hold now at Daventry.
Okay, as you can see, the aircraft just entered the hold. We're starting to make the turn. The aircraft is now in the hold. Okay then, so we're going to just start start the descent now. I'm going to descend down to flight level five zero. We've got our speed still set at two hundred and ten knots, and I've put flaps of five on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to find the ILS frequency from the GPS. We've got this nearest button here, you click on nearest. Push cursor, click in that once. Here you've got Birmingham. If if the airport's further down you will need to use the arrow key to go up and down to find the airport you're looking for. We're looking for Echo Golf Bravo Bravo which is Birmingham. So we're going to press enter now. OK, this brings up this screen up. You've got the different pages here. On the outer part of the knob, you click on the right arrow and it'll bring you across these pages. This is the page we're looking for. It gives you the ILS frequency. OK, it's 110.1, Ramay 33. OK, I'm going to show you now how to set the aircraft up ready for an ILS landing. Firstly, you need to be on the nav switch, not the GPS, so the switch should be up for nav. We found the frequency just in the GPS, which is 110.1, so we're going to set that now. So you click on your radio stack, you've got nav 1, 110.1, you need to switch that frequency into the active nav 1 frequency, so we switch that over. You don't have to do this, but I always put it in nav 2 as well. Don't ask me why. Okay, the frequency is set up. That has responded to that, and we've got the India Bravo mic ILS ID sign there 14.3 DME from the ILS ok so now I'm going to show you how to line up with the ILS and establish descend with the glide and come in line with the, lo the localizer ok so if we look on the GPS now we're pretty close from establishing we're going to establish about here I'm going to come right to about 310. As you can see, we're, we're actually below the glide slope, which is here. This is the localizer. I'm going to descend to 2000 feet. Okay, so we've just got a heading selector at the moment. We've got nav switched on. We're on frequency 110.1. We know that's the ILS is all set up here. Okay, we're actually below the glide, which is good. You need to be below it to catch the glide in time. As you can see, the localizer is starting to move over now, which means we're just about to establish. So now you want to press the APP button. Okay, the aircraft's going to start turning us now in level with the runway. As the glide slope hits our altitude here, as you can see it's moving down the altitude hold will automatically go off at this point you don't have, you don't need to do anything ok so now we're descending with the glide we'll bring the speed back a little bit more as you can see there's the runway there, we've got two red and we've got two white and you're all set up for the landing. Okay, you can turn it off now and you can go manual or you can make an automatic landing. I would suggest that you turn the auto throttle arm switch off and do that manually and then about a mile out turn, over, turn the autopilot off if you're going to be making a landing in fog and you can just about see the runway.